I've never in my whole life seen it like this. Thanks, COVID. Hi, everybody. So it's been a long time since we've actually filmed anything. It's been what, since my birthday? Yeah, it's been a while. What's today? June 14th, we haven't made a video since May 15th when we went out to month. Little Moab. Um, so today, we decided to go up to uh, Tibble Fork randomly. Like we were just sitting at home and we decided that we just need to get out. So we made a plan to load up the dogs and we're gonna see if Koa will swim in the water. Where's Koa? Koa! Don't bug him, he's laying down. <laughs> he's asleep. So, we're running a packed vehicle here. Extremely packed. If we, if we have one more kid, we are doomed. I don't know what we're gonna do, but for now, we're doing great. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, Brayden put the camera that way. So we're going up American Fork Canyon to Tibble Fork. If no one's ever been there, we're gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's about uh, I don't know, 15 minute drive from the mouth of the canyon, we'd say? Yeah. About 15, 15 minutes. minutes. So, we'll kind of show you guys what it looks like on the way up. It's a really fun place. It's probably going to be super packed, because it always is. It's really popular. Especially on the weekend. Especially on the weekend. So yeah, that's our plan for today. It's going to be awesome. And Liam's never been up here. He's been up here once, but he was like really little and we didn't even go by the water or anything. So. Yeah, so we're going to have him experience that too. It'll yes. So... We will uh, keep you updated. We should go through the cave this year. That's oh, probably closed, huh? <laughs> Social distancing. You can't be in a cave together. Anyways, coming up around this corner is Timpanogos Cave. I haven't done it in years. Same. But if you're in Utah, it's definitely something you should plan with your family because it's awesome. It's a big cave, you get to go down inside. Who knows if it's open right now due to the whole pandemic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but also up here, as we're going up to Tibble Fork, there's a ton of picnic spots. I turn off this police detector. There's a bunch of picnic spots and pull off so you can go hiking and exploring. So that makes it a really fun place to come visit. And there's also a beautiful river that comes down the whole thing too. That runs through the picnic areas. So they barely redid this whole thing. We haven't even been up here, but they just tore down the old visitor center and built a new one, built a new parking lot. And it looks super awesome. I bet there's a lot of fun facts in there for the family. We'll have to make a video and go hike the Tim Cave when it opens. Oh heck yeah. So a few minutes up here past the cave, there's a little mill campground. You're not gonna be able to really see it, but over to the right where Braden's filming, there's a bunch of campsites that you can pay for. The river runs right by it. Um, it's good camping. The only downside really is the road that we're on right now is running right by it, so it might be kind of loud. Hey, an Airstream. And an Airstream just went by, and that's like my dream <laughs> to get one. Anyways, so yeah, we actually might try camping there. We want to start slow with Liam, but it's an option. And if you want to come up here and you don't have like an off-road vehicle, you can pay for a campsite at Little Mill. On the picnic trails or picnic areas and stuff, you can't camp though, you'll get kicked out. So that's probably, the only place you can camp on this main road until you get up to the Timpanookie campground, which is just past Tibble Fork. And then if you keep going in the Alpine Loop, honestly, I don't know what's up there. So you're gonna see a sign that says Tibble Fork, turn left. It's the only left turn that you'll have. So it's really hard to miss. So if you keep going straight, you'll go up through the Alpine Loop, but just take a left when you see the street, especially look, be looking out for the sign that says Tibble Fork. And then up through here, you'll just have a bunch more picnic spots. So we're coming up on the dam. There's the 
go away. See that? It's really fun to go sliding down it. Just kidding, don't do that. Oh my that gosh. Was a joke. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, don't do that. You will uh, die. You'll die. die. So that was a joke. There might not be anywhere to actually get out. I mean, there's a parking spot there, but let's see how it looks in the actual parking lot. <laughs> oh my freaking heck. <laughs> it looks full though. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've never in my whole life seen it like this. Thanks, COVID. <laughs> they have bathrooms over here now, that's new. Well, we're gonna try and find a parking spot if we can. Oh, oh. Well, Koa just woke up, Liam just woke up. Um, I think we're uh, gonna do a little change of plans and not go down to the beach because- There's hundreds of people down there, which we We have figured. two dogs, one's a puppy. He'd probably go and attack everyone in a And, oh my gosh. I mean, we might come back and try to like show Liam, but it's so packed. It's like scary packed. Like, I don't recommend coming up here on the weekend. Like we're gonna come up here on weekdays because I have a lot of weekdays off, but see if it's any different, but this is crazy. <laughs> this is like overwhelming. Like you wouldn't even be able to find a spot down there. No. Like, if we didn't have the dog, sure, but I don't want people... People these days get freaking weirded out by everything. Yeah. So if we had the dogs out, they'd be like... Ah! And then just like, freak out and yell at us or oh something. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty over there. We could go on the other side. Okay, let's... You wanna do that? Like, hike yeah. over there? No. Oh, what are you saying then? Hi, Pepper. Hi. There's Liam. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Are we having fun? Yeah, Daddy's gonna air down the tires. Hi. Hi, Pepper. <laughs> We're just hanging out. Wow. Bryce air, airs down the tires so that we can go up higher and get away from all of the craziness that is here. Looks like a lot of people are out having fun and trying to do what we're doing. But luckily we have a vehicle that can go up higher in the mountains. So we're gonna go up, hopefully away from all the craziness. Oh, hey, <laughs> we decided to air down. I was just telling them that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Just because who knows where we're gonna end up, so might as well do it now. All right, so it's a little change of plans. We were gonna go to the reservoir, but it's just insanely packed there. So we're gonna go try to find a spot where we can let the dogs play in the river, kind of like this, but without so many cars. Because they're, they're, we're like, we don't even have a parking spot. We are parked, you know, behind a bunch of people airing down. So that's one good thing about having an overlanding vehicle is when all the cars are stopped because they can't go any further, you're gonna keep going. So yeah, let's see where we end up today. How's everyone doing in here? Great, I'm just eating some goldfish. No ice, no ice. Okay, we're gonna keep going, let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So we let this Durango pass us because he's just like mobbing. We'll let this guy pass, just wait a bit. He's got his truck. His truck's for uh, 
mobbing. That's what he cares about. You can tell he doesn't give a crap. We're gonna try to catch up to him. He's just like being insane. Wrecking his truck. It's pretty awesome. He's like flooring it, spinning the tires. He's getting like angry when he has to pull over for people, it seems like. He was like riding our bumper so hard. And um, I'll let this guy pass, just wave him by. Or he freeze. So this is kind of the kind of trail you're gonna expect all the way up through here. It's pretty bumpy, it's not a comfortable ride by any means, but it's not technical at all. It's not as bumpy when you air down. Oh yeah, when you air down, it's you know, if we weren't aired down, this would suck really bad. This is beautiful up here, past the camera. The biggest issue is just letting people pass. I mean, it's a narrow trail, so we can let them pass. You just kind of have to judge who's got the most room to let the other pass. But everyone's really kind, so. Usually, except Usually. for that Durango. Yeah, that Durango was very <laughs> rude. Hey. <laughs> They're just saying yeah. hello. That lady gave us the hang loose sign. <laughs> She's from California for sure. All right, Braden just spotted a spot. I almost drove past it. Kaiko's ready to get out. Yeah, the dogs want to get out and be free. Trailers not recommended beyond this point. No turnouts next two miles. Yeah, so there's something to keep in mind. All the trailer folks go back to the pavement. <laughs> Let's see. Should we pull in here? Yeah. All right, we'll just park here and see if the oh. dogs will play in the water and not get swept away. All right, time to let the dogs out. Oh, the door's locked. Yeah. Oh, I must have stepped on it. Good thing we didn't get locked out. Yeah, that would have sucked. Oh. Yeah, yeah let's get going. Liam, you want to go play? Yeah, yeah play. play. One, two, three. Liam, look at the water. It's over there. Whoa! What is that? Huh? What is it? Huh? Is it water? Yeah, what is that? Huh? What do you think? Whoa! Wow! Is that cool?
looks like we got a rock biter. Koa just got this rock out. He's got a rock out of the river. Let's see if we can trick Koa. All right, buddy. You want your rock back? Want it? We did it. We did it. Awesome. It's a great success. I finally have a dog who likes water and surprisingly Kaiko got in the water too. I don't think he would like lay down in it, but usually he absolutely hates water. So even though we weren't able to go to the reservoir, I mean, look at this spot. Like just let me show you. There's actually a couple of these on our way up here, but it has a restroom right there. There's people camped, you know, right down there. And then there's a place here to park your cars and this spot for a bunch of tents. And if we were to camp here, we'd probably just open up the rooftop tent right up there. And it has a fire pit here and a little fire pit up there. So yeah, this spot's beautiful, look at this. Wow, so we decided to go up further and I'm very glad we did because several hours later, it's even worse down here. You got people parked on the side of the street all the way up the dirt trail as well. And I've never seen it like this. Look at that motorcycle gang, holy cow. Alrighty. Okay, Britton, you're up. Flip up the screen, let's end this thing. Holy fudge. <laughs> All right, so what do you think, Braden? About what? The day. <laughs> it was fun. It's a fun day. Yeah. We're excited to go camping. We're gonna come up camping in July, right before the 4th of July. No, after, after the, 4th the 4th of July. During the week days, so it's not so packed, hopefully. That spot was awesome. The dogs yeah. love the water. Liam loves the water. It got us really excited for camping because we were really worried how Liam would feel on the off-road trails and how the dogs would be. But I mean, we got the room. We're crammed in here, but we'll make it work. If we have any other babies or anything else, <laughs> we, we ha no actually haven't even loaded this thing down with like our fridge and how we would actually have it when we're camping. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, but it was a fun little spur of the moment trip. Yeah. And I'm glad we got to make a video of it. Anything else you want to say, Brayden? Nope. Anything you want to say, Keiko? Keiko's taking advantage of the AC van right there. Uh-huh. Okay, that's all we got, guys. We will see you in the next one. Not sure what it'll be. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so if you would like. And also like the videos because, man, I get like two likes per video. Let's make it three this time. Thanks for watching. Bye.